What's going on, friends? This is the one coming at you with some more Battlefield 2042 gameplay. We're going to be diving into Dozer. Now, Dozer is an incredible close quarter combat specialist that really focuses on pushing the front lines and breaching into enemy territory. You can really do a ton of damage and distraction with your ballistic shield, utilizing your C5 explosive as Dozer with the blast resistance trait is crazy. So let's talk all about that, plus all your loadouts right now in the video. All right, so here we are in the menu of Battlefield checking out Dozer. Now, Dozer is in the Assault class tier, so basically you want to attack, flank, and eliminate. Just you are front lines. So with all Assault classes, you get three extra magazines with your Assault rifles, which is pretty awesome, even though we're going to be mostly focusing on SMGs. And uh, over here at the Assault gadget, we have the Med Pin. We've talked about this before, but basically it's a self-heal, and whenever you run over your own ammo crate, you actually pick up another one so you can hold two, which is huge. So use that. That's your advantage get all the meds you possibly can in this battlefield down below we have the specialist gadget which is the sob8 ballistic shield now the ballistic shield is insane on the battlefield you can really do some crazy intimidation distraction and even you know just destroy everyone it's a one shot so basically throw a ton of smoke onto the ground and just go crazy now you have to understand a few things when using the shield is the movement you're going to be moving a lot slower with this shield out and that's totally fine. It's just going to take a little bit of time to understand the movement and what to do. But the one thing that you can do that is beneficial to your speed is sliding. Learn how to slide with the shield and then get those quick, fast hits. It is insane what you can do. And you can catch up to people and intimidate people like crazy doing this. So make sure you learn how to slide with the shield. And you can actually switch to your primary weapon really quickly. So if you need to take down someone quick or you have them distracted with your shield, you can get a quick shot in, do it. So learn how to switch in and out from your shield to your primary Mary, it is awesome. All right, so down below here we have the specialist trait. It is blast resistance. Now, blast resistance is crazy. Basically, you just reduce explosive damage effects, so you can really push the front lines. And when you use C5 with this trait, it is outstanding. You can really just like charge a tank and take those hits, take hits from jeeps, from planes, from anything, and just put down C5 and then get out of there. And you know, you still take damage, but you can really use that to your advantage on the battlefield to just use C5 all over the place you can just really push and it's awesome so highly recommend all right so let's check out the weapon selection over here and the first weapon of choice in the smg range would actually be the k30 now the k30 is one of my favorite weapons in the game the hip fire is just insane and the range with the hip fire is ridiculous as well you can really just push the boundaries of that close quarter combat situation that you just want to be in it is super super fun so going into the customizations here we have the wrap suppressor basically it just keeps you off the mini map you're going to be surrounded by smoke a lot as dozer so you want to stay off the mini map as much as possible including when you're inside the smoke uh, so i highly recommend just using a, a suppressor up top here we have the dd hollow i just really enjoy how much you can see enhanced target visibility you can just really really see a lot with this scope and those close quarter combat situations so highly recommend that you can use thermal if you want absolutely i just don't really like to use thermal that much on my smgs down below here we have the standard issue drum mag this is really really important okay increases your magazine size and recoil control and rate of fire now this is crazy because your rate of fire actually gets boosted up to 1300 which is crazy so what you can really do is pump out a ton of quick ammunition to the people on the battlefield and it is just super awesome so highly recommend using this down below here we have the legendary MGL laser sight. Now this laser sight increases your hit fire accuracy while moving, which is awesome. You want that. <laughs> you just you just want that. And the recoil control on this is awesome as well. So basically it just enhances your hit fire. So you really don't have to ADS that much using this weapon. And when you do, you have the nice DD hollow up top to help you out with that. But you really don't have to ADS that much with this weapon. So your hip fire and your mobility is just crazy. So master that, plus with your shield movements, it is super fun, super satisfying getting on the battlefield. All right, next weapon of choice with the SMGs would actually be the AC-9. Uh, AC-9 came out in season four of Battlefield, and this thing is crazy and is beautiful. I love this weapon, especially in those really short 
close quarter combat situations, and the ADSing in this one is way better uh, than the K30, in my opinion. You can really just pump out a ton of rounds on the onto your enemies on the battlefield, and it is awesome. So let's dive into the customization here. We have the wrap suppressor, obviously, like I said before, it just really keeps you off the minimap in smoke and outside of smoke, and you want to be silent. Up top, we have the DD Hollow. Again, it's just a great scope. You can really see around. You're going to be ADSing a lot with this weapon. You're not going to be using the hip fire as much. You will be, but you want to ADS a little bit more with this weapon, in my opinion. Down here, we have the close combat extended. Now, this is important because this will increase your recoil control, rate of fire, and ammo capacity. So you want to use this. You got more ammo, more recoil control. You just have to have those things on the battlefield and increases your rate of fire. So use this absolutely. It's probably the best you got. And then down below here, we have the STNR laser sight. Now, this laser sight is excellent because it increases your hit fire while moving. So, you know, you're going to be moving around a lot. Even whenever you're ADSing, you're still going to be moving. So this is incredible, especially with that recoil control increase as well. So as soon as you unlock this laser sight, highly recommend it. If you want a little bit more accuracy uh, when you're aiming down sights to actually get those long distance shots, because you can with this weapon, you can get those long dis distance shots that you want. Not so much with the K30, but with this thing you can. Uh, I would definitely recommend using the DCG light grip. It's awesome. Aim down sights. Accuracy is increased. So check that out. All right. So the next weapon of choice here actually in the assault tier class. So now remember that with the assault class, we get three extra magazines with any weapon of the assault rifles. So my weapon of choice for this actually will be the M5A3. Now this weapon is pretty awesome if you want to just like get into the combat as quickly as possible. Not really caring too much to stay off of the radar, but you can really just do a lot of quick damage on this. So let's dive into the customizations here. So up top here, we have the champion muzzle break. And this thing is awesome. Basically, it just helps you with your vertical recoil control which you want that if you want to get a silencer on this you can i just use the k i'm sorry the 6k u suppressor keeps you off of minimap doesn't really reduce that much damage or anything else uh, on the weapon which is cool but i just like this the champion muzzle break because it just helps with recoil up top you can use the fusion hollow if you like or the dd hollow whatever you prefer on the assault rifles i just like the fusion hollow it really helps or even you know kick it in with the uh with the thermal thermal is also incredible but it just depends on your play style with your visibility whichever helps you so down below here is actually one of the most important parts of this puzzle here is the close combat magazine so this thing is cool basically you're just going to trick this weapon out to be somewhat of an aggressive smg but it's an assault rifle and you get this three extra max so this is going to increase your recoil control reload speed and fire rate you have a fire rate of 850 you can really just burst out a ton of quick shots with this weapon close quarters and do a good amount of damage so if you want to be aggressive be on the battlefield highly recommend using the close quarter combat magazine down here we have the bcg light grip help you aim down sights that's that is excellent that is what you want i really enjoy this if you want to get a laser on this you can to help with hip fire but your adsing on this weapon is going to be outstanding especially with the smg mix with the magazine it's just going to be super super satisfying to get those kills so highly recommend this with dozer it's quite unique with those extra magazines so check it out on the battlefield all right so now moving on over to your secondary now your secondary is really up to you i like the g57 i've talked about it before in other videos uh but it's actually about to get a nerf here pretty soon so we're going to see how it goes after that so uh, you know if you want to pick a fun weapon i just like the super 500 it's super fun super addicting to get those quick shots in uh so it's really up to you on, on your secondary now over here one of the most important parts of the gadget here is going to be the c5 explosive now this mixed in with dozer is huge you can do so much close quarter combat damage to vehicles infantry even choppers if you can pull it off but you can just do some unique things with c5 on the battlefield with dozer because because of your blast resistance trait reduced explosive damage effects so like like you can just take so much damage and sneak up with you know smoke and just apply it on the battlefield and just cause chaos it is nuts and satisfying it's super super cool to pull off just those insane things with dozers so i highly recommend checking out the c5 getting used to it and used to the movements thrown over top of things underneath all that sort of thing it is outstanding so check out c5 all right so next is actually your throwable so you want to utilize your smoke grenades and your smoke grenades are really really important on the battlefield because you can really push the front line lines and it causes distractions you can get people just lost and confused within smoke and you can stay accurate it is just super fun so highly recommend equipping your smoke and diving onto the battlefield uh, you can really just like throw them against a vehicle and just charge up play c5 and get out of there you know throw uh smoke into uh you know enemy lines or to, to a base and uh, break through and push push those lines flank people like you can really move around with smoke so much as dozer because people will back off they will be so afraid of you it's insane the amount of people who are scared of dozer including myself on the battlefield 
they will just back the hell up because they don't want nothing to do with you because they know it's a one-shot kill so if you can utilize your smoke and the ballistic shield it is just super fun what you can do on the battlefield so highly recommend using the smoke and getting all that done it is super satisfying all right friends that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you want to stick around hit that subscribe button and also let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if you liked the video or even if you didn't like the video please let me know so take it easy guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you all on the battlefield this is the wonk signing out